What? No white backdrop? I feel naked. That was awkward. Sorry. First of all, we have to lead with an apology. We were wrong. Yes, we were wrong, but so was science. Which makes me feel warm and fuzzy inside. In a previous show, we talked about how goldfish are really not that bright, and that they rediscover their bowl every three seconds or so. But it turns out scientists have proved that goldfish are smart-ish. An article in the Daily Mail says something that I have to go read. Hold on. Okay. An article in the Daily Mail says that goldfish are actually pretty smart, and they can remember things up to three months. I don't know how you measure that. It said experiments, and I just envision like electrodes strapped to the goldfish heads and them swimming around, making little bloop, bloop noises. That isn't as funny as I wanted it to be. You know, none of you are laughing. Camera guy says get back to the script, hold on. Yeah. But it's not just goldfish. Lots of other fish, like minnows and sticklebacks and guppies, they're all capable of doing amazing things, like the same things that rats and mice do. Freak, sign those fish up for gait. Brilliant. The goldfish were trained to nudge a little lever to get food, and the experimenters changed it so that it only worked one hour a day, and amazingly, the goldfish would only come around at chow time. They figured it out. And they did it without a watch. So, who's smarter now? But how hard is that really? Push button, get food. Push button, get food. I mean, that's basic. Like, that happens in the woods and the jungle and the ocean all the time. Push button, get food. <laughs> happens in my life all the time. Research shows that goldfish are actually smarter than trout. I have no idea what that means relatively, except that on my last fishing trip, trout proved to be smarter than me, so you work out the logic. But the scientists went way beyond levers, and they started playing a sound to gather the fish for, for food time eating -ness. Then they take them, they release them back into the wild, and they let them grow up, and when they play the sound again, the fish come back. It's incredible. It's like push button, get food, which totally works. Like on millennials, you just have to play Rihanna or Justin Bieber or who's that really popular guy right now? Play any of those and you will get millennials. They'll come for the food, the music, the something. They'll come for something that I don't understand and then you can kill them all or put them into captivity. I'm actually talking about fish now, not millennials. Let's get back to fish. So why do you care? Why is this a big deal? Well, it's a big deal to anybody who deals with fish because it allows them to cut costs on tanks and employees and feeding and allows the fish to grow up organically in the wild, free range. And you know, you parents out there, come on. If you could let your teenager just roam off into the wild and come back when they were useful, you know you'd do it. Today it's just goldfish, but what if someday in the future we could make it snapper or salmon or those really big fish everyone loves? What do they call the end? Tuna. Doesn't everybody love tuna? But the most important takeaway is that you can train your pet goldfish. Attack fish. Take care of the apartment while you're gone. Bad guy comes to the door, goldfish flips the lever, down comes the spikes. And he gets some food. So really, it's positive reinforcement. PETA's gonna be pissed though. Am I allowed to say that? You can bleep it out, right? Yeah, okay. Just bleep that out. <laughs>